Markets fell today by 269 points. Joining us now is David Bonson, the Bonson Group Managing Partner. You don't believe the markets can fall 269 points, right? What me worry? No problem. Ta biggest taxing, biggest spending, biggest regulating, a 10,000-page bill, no regular order, a disaster in Afghanistan. And then I read, let's see, unemployment benefits expired today. That should be a good thing, although the mainstream is saying it's bad. Um, so, David, how's life? How's life treating you today? Well, of course, Larry, my life is going very well, <laughs> but I'm not really the focus here. <laughs> yes. I'm more worried about those who are going to be much more negatively impacted by the economic policy framework we see proposed. Uh, I don't believe they're going to get three and a half trillion of spending done, but they're spending an awful lot of money. And I was thinking I was listening to your last segment because, you know, I'm a uh, supply sider to the core and I was in a lot of ways mentored by the host of this show. And I believe that the deficits do matter. But like you, it's not because of the deficit per se. It's because of the growth of government. Mm. It's the growth of the size of government that takes away from the private sector and puts downward pressure on growth, the crowding out of productive activity. That's the thing in the economy that scares me, and that scares me with or without this $3 trillion monstrosity. And so I just think we have an entire economic framework that is geared towards minimizing the private sector and elevating Washington, D.C., and neither one of us want that. The question, David, in the last 40 seconds, 45 seconds, when do these threats impact the stock market? Is it living on borrowed time, in your judgment? I just got half a minute. Okay, in less than 30 seconds, it just comes down to corporate profits. Do companies have the ability with their resources, with their ingenuity, to continue expanding margins? They're going to need top-line revenue growth, which means we need more business investment. You can't get more business investment if national savings declines. That's why this government spending is a problem. Yep. But overall, the market's living on time unless we get that Thank growth you. of productivity. David Bonson, thank you, buddy.